Question 7. Procaine is used as an anesthetic in medicine. It can be synthesized from methylbenzene in 5 steps, as shown in Figure 7.1. From methylbenzene, it undergoes Step 1 and 2, which is the nitration and the oxidation of the methylbenzene to form compound X. We'll discuss further on this uh, step 1 and 2. And uh, step 3 is a reaction of the SOCl2 with the COOH. So we know that the COOH will form COCl, means the carboxylic acid groups will form a steel chloride. Okay, when we use uh, this compound, so the OH now will change to the Cl. After that, uh, the step 4, we see this group now the acyl chloride is changed to this ester. So means this compound, uh, means that after step 3, so this compound is going to react with an alcohol to form the ester. So the alcohol basically is this one. We just put one H here, right? So one brick. So we get this alcohol, this alcohol group, and this is a compound. And this is the acyl chloride. So this is a reaction. Um, now, after this compound form, then it will undergo a reaction, step five. So we can see that the change is here. Nitrobenzene to form phenylamine. So this one is a reduction, reduction of nitrobenzene to phenylamine. Part A1. Name all the functional group present in this procaine. So it's quite easy. Uh, the functional group, the first functional group is this one, phenylamine. Second is ester, and this is the amine because the nitrogen is bonded to three alkyl group, so this is amine. So therefore, the functional groups, they are phenylamine, amine, and ester. Part two, a molecule of procaine has 13 carbon. State the numbers of carbon atom that are sp, sp2, and sp3 hybridized. Okay, so sp hybridized carbon uh, is basically the carbon with tri uh, triple bond. Uh, in this uh, compound, uh, no carbon with triple bond, so therefore it's not going to be uh, the any sp carbon. Sp two carbon is the one with double bond, most likely. So we know that in benzene ring, all these carbon they are uh, the the sp two carbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbon they are sp two, and this one also sp2, this uh, carbonyl carbon is the sp2 hybridized carbon. So total is 1 plus 6, 7. So 7 sp2 carbon. sp3 carbon, they are this uh, 1, 2, so times 2, so it's 4, plus 1, plus 1. So it's total 6 carbon with uh, this uh, sp three hybridized so means uh, the carbon with uh, all sigma bond right four sigma bond part b the proton uh, nmr of procaine uh, dissolved in the d2o is recorded uh, so when it's in d2o we know that the proton exchange happen uh, these protons uh, uh, in the amine will exchange to the D2. So it will form ND2, and this ND2 will not give any signal in the proton NMR. So what you will see is the other's uh, proton. So now the question asks, predict the number of peaks that observe means uh, in the proton NMR. So we're going to uh, count, uh, just follow the numbers here. Uh, so this one is uh, 1, Two, uh, because uh, it has two ethyl group and these two ethyl group, they are equivalent. That's why this proton and this proton, right? So it's one signal, one signal. 
even it's two etil group is still two signals right so this one will give another one this proton will give another and this carbon all this carbon one two three four they have one proton uh, each so this proton and this proton will give one signal because they are equivalent this proton and this proton they'll give another signal so therefore total six uh, signals or six pick you will see part c state why procaine act as a base very easy uh, lone pair or nitrogen can accept a proton so where is it uh, so is here this nitrogen and this nitrogen also so because uh, it has a lone pair on it so it can accept the protons easily right so it's a base part d compound x uh, this is the uh, after step one and step two just just now okay uh, can be synthesized in two steps from methyl benzene so now is the methyl benzene from w then from x so means uh, now is uh, step one and step two uh, first you need to understand uh, which one first the sequence because the position of the nitro group here is the one four position means one two three four so we know that uh, the nitration must happen first because the uh, methyl group is two four directing means when there is a nitration the methyl group will direct this nitro group to two and four position means the step one need to be a nitration because this uh, methyl group will direct the NO2 to this fourth position therefore it will form W W with this uh, structure the the nitro group now is uh, is at the fourth position means one two three four right okay after that uh, this uh, methyl benzene this methyl group will oxidize to the this uh, COOH so it will form benzoic acid so this one is the oxidation of the this one uh, we will discuss later what is the things that we need to use for the step one very easy uh, state the reagents and condition for step one and step two Step one is a nitration, so we need to use the nitration mixture, which is the concentrated HNO3 and the concentrated HSO4. So make sure you put the temperature, uh, which is uh, 55 degrees C. So therefore, the nitration will happen, and this nitro group will go to the this uh, uh, fourth position. Okay. Now, for the step two again is the oxidation of the this alkyl benzene or methyl benzene so first we need to use the hot alkaline chemino 4 when we use a hot alkaline chemino 4 then uh, first you will form this uh, this uh, carboxylate so after that you need to uh, be, uh, undergo this uh, uh, or you need to acidify it so we need to add acid to let this carboxylate uh, form the, the carboxylic acid means to form COOH after it's being acidified so it will from this anion form back the this uh, benzoic acid or this COOH that's why you need to undergo uh, two two uh, two step in this step two uh, so hot alkaline chemino 4 followed by acid solution Part E, procaine is synthesized in three steps from X. Uh, so X is this. So now we uh, discuss in three, step 3, 4, 5. Right. Suggest a reagent and condition for step 4 and for step 5. 
in figure 7.1. Uh, step 4, I already told you just now, what is the alcohol that we need to use? So means, again, let's move back to step 4. Step 4, uh, we need to use this alcohol to react with the acyl chloride. Then it will form this compound. So basically, it's just this one, right, with one H. So OH is here, so this is the alcohol. So step four, then you just need to uh, give this structure, right? Step five is the reduction of nitrobenzene. I told you just now, reduction of nitrobenzene. First, we need to use the thing with concentrated HCl with heat, or you can say hot thing plus concentrated HCl. So after that. Uh, it need to follow by sodium hydroxide. Why? Because uh, when we use a concentrated HCl, then uh, uh, the products form, it won't be really the... Okay, let's move back to here. It won't be uh, really the phenylamine because phenylamine itself is a base. So when there is a excess acid or when there is acid, it will form ammonium. So therefore, we need to add the sodium hydroxide to make sure the phenylamines form, right? So therefore, it need to follow by sodium hydroxide, then the phenylamine can form. Part F1. Explain what it means by partition coefficient, KBC. This one is very easy. Ratio of the concentration of a solute in two immiscible solvent cannot mix together, right? And it must be at equilibrium because it's K constant, right? So this definition is very uh, straightforward and easy. Uh, so in this part two, uh, we use the procaine and dissolve it in the uh, octano and water. So the partition coefficient of procaine between octane 1 O and water is 1.77. A solution containing 0.5 gram of procaine in the 75 cm cube of water shaken with 50 cm cube of octane 1 O. Calculate the mass of procaine that is extracted into the octane one O means now it wants you to calculate to the mass of the procaine in the uh, alcohol. First, uh, it's better for you to uh, to uh, give the KPC expression. Uh, without this, also can no problem. Uh, so KPC is equal to the concentration of procaine in the octane one O over procaine uh, in the water. Okay, let's say x gram of the procaine in the octane one O. So therefore, uh, the ones that remains in the water must be 0 0.5 minus x. So means the x over 50, the volume of the uh, alcohol. So over 0 0.5 minus x, okay, and over the water, the volume of water 75 cm cube so uh, after that rearrange you try to get the x so x is the mass of the procaine in the octane 1 O which is 0 0.271 gram okay so I hope you understand and thank you